Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the chess guy. Today I'm going to show you a trap for why it's called the fried liver attack. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos just like this. I'm giving out memberships in the club in the description on chess.com so don't forget to click it. So it starts off with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, the king's knight variation. Most people play this, so if you're a beginner, if you're playing against a beginner, this will help you. Then bishop c4, the Italian game, and then knight f6. As you can see, it's threatening to take the pawn on e4, so white must defend it. In the fried liver, you actually play knight g5. As you can see, uh, the black's pawn on f7 is not protected. It's only protected by the king. So, the correct move is to actually play d5. But we'll come back to that later. Let's say... Uh, let's say white... Sorry, black plays h6. Then as you can see, it's going to be a fork once I take. It's threatening to take the queen as well as the rook. So black must give up his rook. So the correct move is to actually play d5. As you can see, the pawn on f7 is now at is not attacked by the bishop and the knight, so it's no longer a threat for white. So, white will take with the e4 pawn, again attacking the knight. So, this is actually a blunder, but if the knight, the black knight, takes the pawn on d5, it's actually a blunder. Because then there's a really nice sacrifice. White takes the pawn on f7. Again, making a fork. So black must take the knight. Then, after you take the knight, you play knight, sorry, queen f3. Checking and attacking at this knight, as you can see. Sorry, the two pieces attacking this knight. And there's only one piece defending it. So, if black goes back to f7, the bishop will take on d on d5. And then there's this checkmate, which black has to defend. If white plays to e6, then you play knight c3. Again, you're putting pressure on this piece. And... Black's knight can't move anywhere because of the pin. So, white is winning massively here. As you can see, the black's king is exposed to all of white's pieces. So, and black's bishops and like rooks aren't developed. So, white is going to win. The correct move is to actually play knight a5. It looks as if you're sacrificing a pawn, but you're actually not. Because if the bishop goes back to there, then you'll just take. And then when white takes, you just take the pawn. You'll be in a better position because none of white's pieces are actually developed. And then you can chase away white's knight by doing playing h6 on the next move again if the bishop goes to e2 or maybe d3 then you'll just again take the pawn with the queen or the knight thank you so much for listening to this video i hope you'll subscribe and like it thank you